Hi everyone, this is Donna Brown from DB Tax Solutions, located in Lake Royal near Bunn, North Carolina. Today I wanted to talk about LLC, Limited Liability Company. LLCs are great, they are the least complicated business structure out there, and it gives you the feature, as in the name, a limited liability, um, legal protection from your personal assets. Also, you don't have to be a U.S. citizen or a, a permanent resident to have an LLC. Also, becoming an LLC gives you an opportunity to choose how you want to be taxed. So, say you've registered your LLC and you're now an LLC with your state. If you don't do anything else, the IRS will automatically classify your business as a sole proprietorship or a partnership depending on how many members are in the LLC. If you're a single member LLC, you'll be a sole proprietor and you'll file your business income in your individual tax return form 1040 under schedule c form and if you are a multiple member llc irs will automatically classify you as partnership which in which case you will have to file a form 1065 partnership and from that information return each members will then receive a schedule k1 report which they will then declare in their um, individual tax return. So if your LLC is only composed of a husband and wife members in North Carolina, they will still be considered partnership, therefore they have to file the form 1065. However, if the LLC having a members of a husband and wife is in a located in a community property state, they have the option to be taxed as disregarded entity which means they can file their business income their share of business income in their own personal tax return in the form 1040. So if you're an LLC and you have $15,000 net income for the year you will have to pay taxes on that income the whole $15,000 uh, with self-employment tax and if you have multiple members in that LLC and you're in a partnership and say they have equal share. So with that 15,000, each member of three members will have $5,000 share of income that will be declared in their individual tax return as their share of income from the partnership. So in both of this income, um, unlike W-2, this income, there are no taxes withheld. So it would be wise to save some uh, business earnings to pay for your tax liability comes uh, tax season. So now let's look at another tax entity uh, and another option for your LLC. So your LLC, if you want, you can be taxed as a C corporation or a small corporation. So if you want to elect a corporate uh, taxation status, you will have to file an IRS form 8832. And then after you file that, Actually, you can file at the same time. If you want to be classified as small corporation, you can also file the form 2553 with IRS. That will give you a status of a small corporation. Now, why would a business want to be um, a C Corp or a small corporation? Um, the main reason is that the business wants to keep more profit in the company. And that's called the retained earnings. And retained earnings are usually taxed at a much lower rate than personal tax return depends on what tax bracket you're on so in c corp there is what they call the double taxation where the profit in the net income in the corporation is taxed at the corporate level and then when it's distributed to the shareholders the shareholders then will be taxed in their individual rate so um, there's that double taxation and then the election to become a small um, small business corporation that form need to be filed um, two months and 15 days at the beginning of the tax year or if you want say for example um, you want your tax year 2020 to be an S corp then you can file any time in the prior year but in the 2019 if you want this year to be your S corp year then it must be filed within um, 
that two months period and 15 days, February 15th, basically. But a lot of the times when you start your business later um, and after February, you can make that election at the same time you file your first S-Corp tax return. Um, so if you elect to be an S-Corp, the owner of the LLC or the S-Corp usually is an employee of that company. Um, and it becomes... Um, it's important that as an employee of that company, they must take a salary, which is what the IRS referred to as the reasonable salary. So a little bit about reasonable salary is that in your industry, for example, a person is getting paid $10 an hour. So you pay yourself that an hour. And so if you pay yourself like, oh, okay, just $5 an hour, that's below the reasonable salary and IRS will get you for that. So since you are now an employee of your own company, you will have a W-2 at your end, which income in your W-2 uh, payroll taxes will be withheld. So say for example, um, your net income in the business is $15,000. That is um, after all the expenses, it's net income. That's what's left, your, you know, your income minus all your expenses, minus the wages that you've already taken. And so you still have $15,000 left as net income and you want to take that also as a distribution, guess what? That $15,000 is not going to be subject to 15.3 self-employment tax. That's the rate for 2019. So 15.3% of $15,000 is $2,295 that you don't have to pay self-employment tax on because you're already doing that as an employee in your W-2 income. So that's one of the benefits of being in a, a small corporation is that it's a flow through entity. You get W-2 and you're paying wages there. And if there's excess income, you can take that as a distribution. You'll pay um, income tax, but not self-employment tax. So that's one of the benefits of being a, self, uh, a small business corporation. So one thing to note when you um, turn your LLC to a small corporation, you are going now going to file the 1120S form for your LLC as a small corporation. And from that, um, you will get your Schedule K-1 form for to the owners, to the members, and that Schedule K-1 form, just like in the partnership, you will take that and file it in with your um, individual tax return. So another thing to consider whether you want to be an S-Corp is that you might you will definitely pay uh, tax return fees for 1120s form in addition to your own um, tax preparation fee for your own tax return um, now also because you are an employee you might have to have you will probably have uh, payroll expenses that will also add up in addition to that all llc's will pay in north carolina will have an annual report fee which is about 200 dollars dollars so you consider all those expenses and decide you know hey is it if I make that fifteen thousand dollar income and I save that two thousand two hundred ninety five dollars not having to pay the self-employment tax that's still enough to cover your um, um, business tax return and your payroll expense then it's a good um, choice for you to be an S Corp um, so just just a little bit of information hope you'll find this helpful. If you have any other topics that you want me to talk about, let me know in the comment below and subscribe so that you can you don't miss out on DB Tax Tips. Again, this is Donna Brown from DB Tax Solutions. I hope you have a great day. See you next time.